Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Edgar DJ Axis with CGP DJs with another My DMX 2.0 video tutorial. In this video, I will be covering the scene builder and the effects generator. Uh, I've set up a couple up lights in my backyard to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like with the effects being applied to the up lights and uh, kind of like a layout, just like if you were going to a gig and you were doing up lighting. Uh, before we do start, I want to make sure that. Uh, each of your fixtures uh, that you're going to be applying these effects to, make sure they're addressed uh, to individual DMX addresses because if you use the same address for all your fixtures, the effects will not work properly. You're going to get the same type of effect on all your fixtures instead of uh, the dramatic uh, cool effects that the FX generator is capable of. Uh, with that being said, let's open up my DMX 2.0. Make sure you're always running the latest version. And what we want to do is go ahead, once everything loads up, we want to go ahead and click on our editor tab. And since we're starting a new scene, go ahead and click that, add a new scene. I've already created one, which is down here. Uh, it'll say new scene one. In this case, it says two, since I have another one that hasn't been named. Uh, you're more than welcome to rename your scene but once you've created that new scene you want to go up here to the scene builder go ahead and click on that and it'll bring you to the effects generator right here uh, this grid and the blocks inside them represents all the lights that you've added to my DMX 2.0 uh, this is just other lighting that we're not going to cover but as you can see, I already have these lined up right here. You can select them. And then the numbers represent which light is going to get the effects first. So in this case, um, if we add some color fading, it'll hit this light first and then it'll travel through here or vice versa. Uh, you're also able to realign them. Um, so if you click here, make sure you select them all, and I'll put them in a circle for you, in a straight line, in a vertical line, and whatnot. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and use horizontal right there. And uh, these represent the up lightings that I have in the backyard. So once you have them highlighted, make sure you go over here on the right. And before you start, make sure that your uh, dimmer on your lights, it's turned on. I've already pre-programmed them to have the dimmer up uh, without any color effect yet. But as soon as the color effect hits it, it'll turn up. But if you add color to the effect and you're not getting any output from your lights, make sure you check the dimmer channel on your fixture. And uh, make sure that's turned all the way up so you can get some um, color from your fixture. So with that said, let's go ahead and click on effects. This effects right here, we're gonna add some color mixing. So there's various effects, but uh, let's start off with the first one. And it's a chasing effect. As you can see over here on the right, we're gonna go ahead and click on it, and zoom in so you can see the coloring. And it's basically a color chased effect. And you can go ahead and resize that. And basically just resize it to um, cover the amount of fixtures that you have. And all you do now is basically drag that over. And let me fade back here. And you can see it's color fading in a row. You can't really see them all in a row because I'm using my iPhone here. But um, basically... What you see happening here, it's what's being applied to the lights out there. And you do have a couple options over here. Uh, you're able to add or remove any colors with your add and remove buttons here. Uh, you can add custom colors. The color width, you can change that here. And let me. It's just how wide 
the color gets so we went back to the starting point and then I'll gradually add that and you can see what that does by going higher on that slider there so we'll leave that there you're also able to change the angle of the effect and then the gradient basically just how harsh um, it fades so it can have a smooth fade or as you slide the gradient slider to the right you can see you start having more hard edges and more of a set colors like that so maybe if you want a nice color fading that'll work out for you there and you can see that they're nicely fading as compared to the hard edges where they're just on and off to the next color so that's a color effect on here which they have it under chasing and then we can add a spiral effect so before I click on that let me show you what's gonna look like on screen so now you have a nice spiral coloring effect and this all depends on how you set up your fixtures so I've just set them up in the line right here but like I said you can go ahead and uh, have a custom grid and, and um, as you can see the color affects certain lights so it all depends on how you have it set up so we'll go back out and I wish I could get a wider angle to kind of get that spiral effect but you guys kind of get the idea and even with the spiral effect you do have um, another options I'm not gonna go over um, individually you can kind of mess around with them and just get it to your liking uh, but I will go over all the effects here so let me go back here the next one's burst so let me go ahead and click on it and show you what it looks like on screen and what it looks like on the lights that's the burst effect now this next one is one of my favorites it's the pause effect so I will go back to the burst and then click on the ball effect and kind of show you what it does this is very cool so what this is uh, you you'll get a bunch of bouncing balls and whenever it hits a fixture that fixture will light up with that color of the bouncing ball and you're able to add a lot of them here so I like you know maybe adding 20 for that cool maybe strobe effect and as you can see it's hitting the fixtures there and um, you're also able to add or remove colors to your liking so that's what it looks like on screen and I'll scoot back right here to kind of give you an idea what it looks like so as the ball is hitting each fixture you know it'll light up the fixture with that color and kind of give you an all-around cool effect that one is very cool and you can change the size and speed and again that's to the user uh, our next effect here is the plasma I'll go ahead and show you what it looks on the computer you click on that and it's kinda like a cool retro look that's what it looks like outside and you have a lot of options on this one so you can get a really custom look to it and what's cool about it if you don't like the colors that uh, it's preset with you can go ahead and add or remove colors to your liking the next one is a flame now the flame effect um, is uh, it gets really dramatic if you're using more of a uh, RGBA fixture where it includes that amber and uh, let me show you what it looks like on screen it gives you a nice fire effect so right now we're using some uh, RGB fixtures so you can see the color mixing 
on it. I don't know how it's coming out on the camera. But you'll definitely get a more true effect if you're using a, an RGBA type fixture with that amber color to give that rich fire looking effect. And uh, there goes all your presets that you're able to mess with. And this one is kind of like a radar one. And you can change colors over here as you like. So, it's a fanning effect. Uh, if you want to change the speed of any of these effects, that's simple. Um, you want to go over to your duration here. And if you remove minutes, the effect will go faster. Or if you want to a more slower, just add time. And this is all user based. So, and this is, I've never actually have used this. Um, I've applied it, nothing really happens. Click on it there. It, um, it asks for a media file, but I've never actually loaded anything. But I mean, um, there could be a lot of cool possibilities with that. I just haven't dug that deep into that effect there. So we'll go ahead and cancel that. So let's say you're down to your effect. That's the effect you like. It's being projected on your lights. You're happy how everything's looking. And once you're done, you go right here. And you generate the effect. Click on it. Everything will shut down. Go ahead and close the generator right here. X that out. And you'll be brought back over here. And it'll create a new scene for you. And then just rename it. In this case, we used um, bouncing uh, color balls. So now, when we go to our live tab, and we want to scroll all the way to the right, and click on our new created scene, which is the bouncing color balls, and then we can see the effect being applied over to our lights. And there you have it. So that is how you use the scene builder, and uh, applying some effects from the generator to your uplighting. My next video, I'm going to be covering how to apply these effects over to moving heads. Uh, there's some precision effects that you can apply and um, other things that I'll go over on my next video. But until then, this has been Edgar DJ Axis with CGP DJs. Thanks for watching.